Okay, great. Well, thank you for that honor and for that nice introduction. Steve Jobs said that great things in business are never done by one person. They're done by a team of people. So please let me begin by acknowledging part of, part of the team responsible for the success of delivering good in Florida who are with us today. Our chairman of the board, Rick Walsh, and his wife, Trish. And two of our best partner agencies, Jane Thompson, president of A Gift for Teaching. And from the mustard seed, the executive director, Kathy Baldwin, and the human resource and office manager, Alexandria Jones. God, God loves a cheerful giver, and so this, this group is cheerful. Archibald Granville Bush and his wife Edith were a team that accomplished great things in business and philanthropy. He was a junior accountant for a little company that went bankrupt twice in Duluth, Minnesota, and they were moving the, moving the company south to St. Paul to see if it would have one more go of it. On the way down to St. Paul, Archie Bush found out that the salespeople made more than the accountants. So he volunteered to go into sales to open up a new territory for the company just south of St. Paul called Chicago. <laughs> there he met his dear Edith, or Daisy, as he would call her. She was a dancer and an actress and a playwright. It was 1910, and her dowry amounted to $15,000, a tidy little sum. She asked Archie, what should they do with her dowry? And he replied, Daisy, I think we put it all in on the company. I believe it has quite a future. That company was Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing, otherwise known as 3M. You can applaud. <laughs> Archie, by the way, was quite a salesperson because he sold the 3M Board of Directors on becoming president and chairman of the board. Together, Mr. and Mrs. Bush became the largest individual shareholders in 3M. They were outrageously successful and they were outrageously generous. The Bushes never had children, but they had his and her foundations. Mrs. Bush often referred to the foundations as their children. Her foundation provided that special consideration will be given to help underprivileged or needy people to improve themselves or relieve human suffering. We're enthusiastic supporters of delivering good because of the collective impact it has to unite retailers, manufacturers, foundations, and individuals to provide people in need with new merchandise. New clothes and products are effectively distributed through a network of agency partners offering hope and dignity to at-risk children, families, and individuals. There is something special, as someone has said here, about some brand spanking new clothes. The collective impact of delivering good has been recognized by charity evaluators such as GuideStar Charity Navigator and others with their highest ranking. Delivering Good is an extremely effective and efficient charity with more than 98% of its revenue ded dedicated to its charitable program of distributing apparel, accessories, shoes, home furnishings, toys, books, and other useful items. Our money and your money go to do the greatest good. Howard Schultz, Founder of Starbucks said that success is best when it's shared. We're delighted that you have honored the legacy of Edith Bush and the other honorees today, but this honor must truly be shared with all of you. It's the generosity and genius of business, the hard work and creativity of the delivering board, good, delivering good board and staff, along with generous donors like yourselves volunteers and enthusiastic partner agencies 
that put the brand spanking new clothes and big smiles on children and families in need. Thank you.